Hello, this is the weekly weather briefing from the National Weather Service office in Peachtree City, Georgia for the week beginning May 11th, 2017. So we'll start out talking about the dry and warm conditions today and then go into the next storm system which will impact the area Friday into Saturday. There is some potential for some strong to isolated severe thunderstorms that we will cover here in a minute. Also, we will go into the drought update as well as the extended forecast into next week. Today, temperatures will be very warm for this time of year, about 10 degrees above normal, well into the mid to upper 80s for most areas as well as into the lower to mid 90s in central Georgia. Some locations in central Georgia will have a fire danger statement issued in the areas highlighted in red where relative humidity values of 25% or lower can be anticipated this afternoon. Rain chances will be quickly increasing tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night across the area, as you can see with the rain chances indicated on the left side of the screen. Um, they will begin to diminish from west to east on Saturday as the system exits the area. There will be a marginal risk of severe weather, especially Friday afternoon into Friday evening across North Georgia, generally along and north of the I-85 corridor. Um, the primary threats in any isolated severe thunderstorms during this time frame will be wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, as well as frequent lightning and brief heavy rainfall. Can't rule out a couple of reports of hail, potentially up to quarter size, but the primary risk will be the localized high wind gusts. Overall, the thunderstorm intensity is expected to weaken overnight Friday night into Saturday. Here's a look at the thunderstorm timing that is expected uh, beginning Friday and headed into Saturday. They will increase from the northwest beginning Friday afternoon and shift south and eastward through Friday evening into Saturday. As mentioned before, overall intensity should wane a bit Friday night into Saturday and rain will come to an end from northwest to southeast on Saturday. Overall rainfall totals with the system will be relatively light, generally less than an inch for most areas. Um, some locations could see up to an inch in isolated locations if a heavy thunderstorm moves over that area. However, most areas should remain close to what is seen here on the forecast map. For the weekly drought update, most areas did not see any significant change to the drought status. However, some counties across the North Georgia mountains did see an improvement from last week with regard to drought conditions, while some South Georgia counties did see a degradation that is down near where the large fires are burning in the Okafenokee Swamp. The extended outlook after the system that exits on Saturday, the area will remain dry through midweek next week. Temperatures will quickly warm back to above normal levels with widespread upper 80s to low 90s expected by early next week. Just to sum it up again, expect dry and warm weather today with some dangerous fire conditions in parts of central Georgia this afternoon and evening. The next storm system will arrive on Friday with a marginal risk for isolated severe thunderstorms, especially during Friday afternoon and evening. Primary threats would be gusty winds and frequent lightning, although some hail uh, is possible, uh, potentially up to quarter size. The area will dry out and warm up beginning Saturday and into early next week behind the storm system on Friday.